free it's trial. What we call a... It's not free trial. We torrent everything. In the time How, would you, why would you put that out there? How dare you? That's not that's Dylan's absolutely not fair. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for uh, coming to the podcast. Uh, we got we got a fun fucking show ahead of you. Uh, Natalie told me last week not to intro too much over the intro. So, um, we're gonna just wait for the song to just softly edit out. It is Dope Dup Podcast. Guys, welcome to the show. We're sitting here with, I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. And then sitting beside me is your other co-host, Kevin Sanchez. Yo, my girl, don't, Kevin. my girl don't want me to uh, hop, like even sing that song no more. Why? Because she about was Puerto like, Rican pussy. it's talking about how many girls he's uh, telling yeah. his aunt he got. He goes, you, you got no bitches now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were with your girl posting on That's Instagram she... how, how someone was like, so are you off the market now? And Kevin posted on her story. Fuck that. Y'all don't know my life. I was like, what? Kevin, <laughs> Yo, Kevin, you can't say, yes. say that. <laughs> nah. That's like a layup, buddy. Yeah. Like, I, by the way, I sent him that to lay it up on his yeah. own story. And he goes, nah, I'm going I'm to I'm put myself I'm out there. wild boy. That boy you hear over there, that's our other co-host. That's my main man, the false prophet himself, D.C. Williams. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And then let's just get right through the room. I don't I, have my I, papers, yo, bro, by the way. I, can just I don't see, have my papers. I can see Napoleon just... Napoleon, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, make sure to check out the last episode with Napoleon and Emil. One, of, I think our funniest shit, episode to date, and that's what, the new episodes are only getting funnier. Uh, that was the first episode, bro. I don't know if y'all you need, you don't you don't see it because you're facing this way. I watched Natalie wipe away a tear from laughing so much, oh, nice. and that was the only achievement that I fucking needed. And guys, welcome back to the podcast. This is really fun for fucking me because he has no idea. We went through a revamp. This is season three. We're on a new season of Doped Up Podcast. The very first ever. The ver- very first ever. The very first guest ever to come through oh, to this shit. podcast. The man himself, Chris Cheney. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Chris you. fucking thank Cheney. You, thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> season three. <laughs> Buddy, how uh, you weren't. I mean, it's crazy. Wow. You're like, a, you're real. You, you missed season Season two completely. Yeah, I didn't, wait, you didn't call me for season two, bro. It was a bad season. Oh, okay. All right, nice. <laughs> it was a bad. Nice, nice. I don't want to do that to you. Yeah, How are you feeling, buddy? How's I'm feeling great, man. How, it's nice to meet you guys. Nice I never met you. Guys. I think I'd seen you at the club one time. Mm-hmm. I think you maybe were hosting, so I yeah. recognize you. Nice to meet maybe you. Maybe I met you there because uh, he said Chris. I thought it was a black dude showing up today. I swear to God, and he came and I was just like, oh, <laughs> That's okay, ridiculous. okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you thought oh, it was yeah. black dude? Two black guests in a row. Fuck yeah, dude. That's wait. You thought it was a black guest? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Why Chris is make you think black guests? I don't get that. Sorry, was your last name? Cheney. 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 Chris Cheney. I thought for some reason I got that confused with like another comic that's like named Chris in black, bro. I don't know why. Chris I, Hamilton? No, <laughs> I didn't get you confused. <laughs> Charles Hamilton. <laughs> Charles Hamilton. Charles Hamilton was fine. <laughs> you remember Charles Hamilton? Ain't rapper? nothing like a the Brooklyn rapper? girl. He Ain't nothing nice. like a Brooklyn girl. He was nice. And then a girl slapped him. Yeah. I just um, appreciated him because he was so openly assigned to Hedgehog fan and not autistic. So it was nice to have him. Like, he's a little him. autistic. By the way, Charles yeah, Hamilton. But, I mean, yeah. Charles Hamilton was the first Chris Rock. He had a, he got slapped doing an interview, and oh. his career just. What are yeah. you talking about? His Chris Rock got slapped. Chris Rock, put out a special oh that was. God. His career okay. went so for, bad that he's on my mixtape. This is how little Dylan knows anything. <laughs> <laughs> One. Chris Rock did not put out a special yet. It's coming out March 4th, and I heard it's going to be a banger. Oh, sorry. Okay. I, was trying, right? I was trying to trigger people. And, and then, oh, yeah, listen. We can put this out on March 4th. Like, we can put that clip out late. Uh, see, now you're, see, now you're thinking. Uh, see, now you're not thinking. You're bro. thinking. I can't, do, I can't let you do that to the God, Chris Rock, like that. That's one of the, that's one of the Mont Rushmore people, bro. You can't be doing Nah, Chris like Rock that. is great. I heard, I heard him be. He's a very nice comic to comics that we also like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but listen. I wanna, anyway, I, I love Chris Rock. This, I, I want to <laughs> intro the podcast Dylan, just, just right. ready to burn bridges. Yeah. I want to intro the podcast just right, guys. This is the Italian new season. Chris Rock don't like us now. This is the new season of Dope Dub Podcast. Hey, shout out to Colt Gee for rapping. This is you can go on Apple Music, any music, and download this now. Wow. What you doing, girl? I don't know why he throws the shade there. That's really random. Wait, ready? The best part. Where the fuck is DC? I was looking Chinese. The D rail comedy. Wait, wait, ready? 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 
What the fuck you been saying? I, I mean, mean please. please. Rolling okay. deep with the boy, you know Nag Reed. His name close to something that he wanna be. <laughs> Such with an it ends with the R I M E P. Shout out to Cold G for Don't making this fucking rap yo, song, bro. Yo, who's bro. Cold G? Bro, he's a fan. He's a homie. It's a guy who records in his closet, apparently. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yeah. he's mad. Yo, DC. DC. DC acting like Napoleon in the mill listening to his songs. So. <laughs> no, he just rolled his eyes. Yo, damn, bro. <laughs> wait, wait. You know I could have did what he did for free. Wow. <laughs> you know, he could have saved this podcast a lot of money. Yo, you know what, though? <laughs> what? You ain't do it. I told Dylan to do that a year wait, ago. Wait, 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 wait. You think I paid for that? No, actually, based on what I just heard, no. Why are you a hater right now? <laughs> By the way, Damn, let's, let, let's listen to a DC shit rap. But DC does it and this is the saga. I keep coming like dick of a John. This is you? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that was me, yeah. Charles Hamilton is on that mixtape. <laughs> That's how bad. I swear to God, he is. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, he's on the mixtape. He's on like track number five. Wait, your mixtape, Charles Hamilton. Yeah. Wait, wait, Chal wait, wait. Uh, Charles Hamilton, not Gambino. Gambino. Wait, wait, no, no, Charles no, no, Hamilton. No. I didn't yeah, say Gambino. Yeah. Yeah. Hamilton was on your shit. An actual, yeah. but like you took his verse from another song. I fucking picked him up from the train station, brought him to the studio. Hell yeah, oh, dude. And he oh, DC coming fucking... back at you guys. Oh, hardcore. He did. Hell yeah, oh, DC. This is what I'm talking about. You have to Not find this you fucking song. I swear to God, you're fired. You don't, don't, fire, you don't find up. this fucking song. Yo, why you never said nothing? I did. I told you. I told yo, you, you that. Yo, you know what? I, every time, now that you said said this shit, this shit reminds me of that dude. What's his name? Um, um, uh, Fuck. The dude that ate a cockroach on the song. Um, oh, Tyler! Tyler, the creator. <laughs> I like that. Sorry. Reduce him to his first video. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He's right. Okay, yeah. keep going. Wait, where are you from, bro? Cockroach? You must be <laughs> uptown. I, I don't know yeah, why I said it like yeah. that. You I uptown for yeah, sure, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Like retard alert. <laughs> I deserve that. As an uptown. <laughs> By the way, that <laughs> job is gonna get us in trouble in like five to ten years, but it's still yeah. staying. Uh oh. That's what the people are mad in like five to ten years. Definitely uptown. So is Charles Evans also from uptown. I'm an uptown nigga with soul. Wait, wait, ready? The outcome featuring Charles Hamilton. Come on, that was quick. That was I'm fucking out doing myself. I had a scream, but it was quick. Now, I mean, look at the I picture. Feel like my EP cover is kind why of would fire. you? Why do you pick that picture for you? That I little don't glasses. Know. I don't know. I we just, don't know why you do anything. You do. You look yeah. like the black guy in the Good Place. Thank you. I don't know what that means. I was gonna say, is that Shane wait, Sharp? This wait, is crazy. By the way, by the way, that voice you hear in the booth—that's our amazing producer. That was a great tag, Natty Ice. ice, ice. Shannon Sharp. Wait, well, you pulled the song back up. Yeah, let's, yeah, pull, yeah. let's go let's straight to the song. I'm just showing you. I have it. I'll I'll leave it on you guys and play. No, 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 I can't no. believe play it. you got a song with Charles Hamilton. Yeah, he's a headache to work with, bro. I think that's why he stopped rapping. Mm. This is a good, like, Who's this, Charles or you? That's me. That's a good. This is like a good week. Turn this up a little bit. Turn this up a little bit. It's a good. Uh, we pass it around. Who that? Yo! I'm not mad. Another vagina. Another vagina. You really love rapping about vagina. Come on, man. Don't do that, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Everybody does. Dylan, you didn't write a 16 somewhere that's got a pussy bar? I have bar? so many 16s that rap to Kevin. It's ridiculous. Actually, he's not that bad. Wait, y'all are drinking the water. I think. <laughs> Wait, let me listen. Yo, DC's the only person that had the confidence to make Charles Hamilton wait two and a half minutes for his verse. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, let the fucking the famous motherfucker rap. DC, no one wants to hear your trash shit. Well, uh, what Even though it's good, uh, like, I want to hear Charles. Wait, I want to hear Charles Hamilton. It's my favorite rappers, by the way. I actually love Charles Hamilton. How did you not know this? He don't, I don't, I'm not, he didn't promote I, I was a friend during that. DC when he was rapping. I wasn't friends with him then. I, wait, let me hear. For the rest of my life, I would be granted the wisdom to listen further Hamilton like Benjamin. Mentally murder. Now how I know your verse is the worst verse? Because you're rapping his. <laughs> nah, I think actually DC, I think I gassed on him a little bit. He kind of did better than him. Well, no, they have different styles. This is Hamilton's like, Ham he Charles raps like, I'm thinking in my mind. I'm telling so, you that I'm gonna tell you something about that when you're done playing aligned. it. Yeah. All right, we could we could play. Yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah, you can fade out. Listen, by the way, though, this is, what, what was the problem?
So he, well, I'm What's gonna working? tell you, he he recorded that verse, and he went in studio. I swear to God, it sounds like I'm making this shit up. <laughs> he Talking to the mic. Wait, wait. Wait, he turned his back <laughs> to everybody. It was just me and the producer of the studio, and this motherfucker went like <laughs> for like 20 seconds and went to booth and did it in one take. And then I called him back. I was like, yo, there's a few things that we just want to add. Do you do I do another take? Another take. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he's just like, bro, it was, but it was a, fast. It was very impressive. It that's was not impressive. Yeah. Wait, did you do your uh, verses in front of him? Yours was already ready. My verse was already laid. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I hit him up on Twitter. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I was going to say. How did how'd you link up with, I will say, Charles Hamilton is not a like giant guy, but it's a, yeah, for I, a first mixtape, that's like, I know. at least a name. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna, make that, we're gonna make it a new drop. I'm telling you, we're gonna make it. Yo, honestly, we, we should send that to Napoleon. <laughs> Yo, we should definitely send that Napoleon to Napoleon. Napoleon might have, so he might gain. Mad, bro. I think he's gonna be mad that you got. Wait, what about Napoleon? Team. What am I missing when Napoleon? Napoleon Emil came on and we yeah. kept playing his like drop, and it would take the joy and soul out of Napoleon. Yeah, every he time was like, played it. Go watch the episode. Yeah, he starts the punching the ears. Hilarious, Yo, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he so? All right, I mean, I'll hit Emil. You ask, ask Emil. It's, but, uh, it's funny though. Like I get, he also hasn't heard me in full context. Like he just heard that one little beatbox freestyle. It was like a trend. It was like it. a challenge okay, okay. on the internet. Wait, internet. guys, yeah. breaking news. Yeah. DC's not that bad at rap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he says he knows that you've rapped with me, bro. So wait, hold on. Who's we did. Your, we did make a song. Who's that your favorite person you've like met <clears throat> in the studio? In the studio, like, in and regard, don't say yeah. yourself. No, I'm gonna fucking no, punch no. you. Nah, he's, I, he, nah, I can tell you, not the guy. <laughs> I was. You don't have not met DC. I, well, honestly, <laughs> That's true. I haven't. I really haven't been in the studio with like too many people. It'll probably be a, like a favorite producer type of person or something like okay, that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if yeah, if, yeah. if me and you ever went in the studio, would it be me? Nah, of course not, bro. You're <laughs> infuriating crazy, to bro. be around creatively. <laughs> but yeah, I, there was a few. I did meet some people at like shows and shit performing that were like, oh, also, you could rap better than But it was like, yeah, I, would, was, I, would just, I just had DC, fun creating I mean. it. There was nothing else to do really during the time. Charles Hamilton is such a funny poll. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's like, I mean, you need a lot of context for that to be as funny yeah. as it is. But he tweeted, <laughs> he was like, yo, funny? I'm doing, I was like, anyone uh, versus for like $400 or whatever. I was like, I'm going to hit him up right now. Yo, hold, up, hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think that's what he said. Or he said versus for the low, maybe. Ha, okay, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Uh, hold up. <laughs> that was a drop into another drop. <laughs> Sorry. Are you saying to me right now? Mm -hmm. You paid for that? Did you pay this man a little bit over four hundred dollars? I, I would say versus. I would say I paid less than a little less than a that. Little? I don't want to affect whoever pays okay. him money, but sure, yeah. sure. So yeah. you paid him. Paid him money. This is how much. DC believed he was going to be a rapper. I know how badly you were struggling during uh -huh. the pandemic, and you were like, let's get you I'm, I'm already paying for studio time. <laughs> by the way, bro, to be... I, you paid for studio time? By the way, DC... Yeah, yeah. Like, DC, you paid for his verse? To, go yeah, yeah. to be negative and paying for verses is insane. How did you pay for that verse? Because I know what was going on. Did you give him a blank check? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I fucking... Yo, did you at least do the like the double tag on Spotify so like, the song comes up on oh, his like shit? Like collaborate? No. <laughs> <laughs> should have, bro. I should have got more on, but he was just so, bro. He's like, he's weirded out now. Like, he's like, he's really is. It was really weird meeting him. Yeah, like, oh, this is a genuine fall from he's grace. He's like twitching. Bro. Well, again, he's, he's a, a bit, Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog fan, so right. we all know there's you know something crazy. Off as, he does as have like Sonic energy. He's like, as like crazy as he looked when I met him, we were walking through Grand Central Station, and someone's like, "Yo, that's Charles Hamilton, some white dude who looked like he had a good job, <laughs> but like yeah. for sure grew up in like DC. the blog era, wait, like wait, 2008, wait. 2009. The time I saw you at Grand Central, is that the is that the reason you walked by me? You were Charles Hamilton. I was like, "Yo, Charles Hamilton." DC didn't recognize me. <laughs> nah, it was it was a random white dude, bro. I could I was like, "You still get recognized, bro? Like that's crazy." Well, you said that to him. No, I was just oh, like, "That's crazy." No, 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 no. He definitely was a white kid. Like him, him like white, Hobson, like yeah, yeah. those were all like white kid rapper. Shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, I agree one hundred percent. And one day you will be too. Shortly tweaked. He told me to come to his crib in Long Island. Like he made his beats are still fire. He's still a fire producer, but he's just so like bugged out. Like I couldn't. Damn. You know he, I, mean? I think he did too much acid. Probably. I don't know. He said the industry's punishing him. I was like, hey, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's that, that's like that third eye <laughs> mind. Like, you make, like, that's like, make hey, believe bro. talk. <laughs> bro, I started. Uh, you know me. I'd be watching a lot of um, shit Born? about raps, oh. yeah, rappers yeah. and shit. And this is old school. I forgot her name. Female rapper bro. talking about Jay Z being a pedophile. But it, it was everything she said that she was like going into songs that he was like trying to be cryptic about his pedophilia and everything she said. Or brought up had nothing to do with pedophilia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I imagine the same video, but for Little Wayne. And she's like, listen to six foot, seven foot. Think about Think it. Think about it. Six that's foot, seven foot, foot, eight foot. foot. 
He talking oh, okay. about children's agents. He talking about children's agents. Are you talking agents. about that song he did with Pharrell called Young Girl or something like that? Nah, hey. she, was, she was throwing uh, shit from Magna Carta. Everybody reaching, bro. <laughs> yeah, really? everybody reaching. And bro. you know, when they string it together, you're like, like almost, made, like I was watching just, I was just watching a little bit of that Vice documentary they did on Andrew Tate and I'm just like, bro, if you can edit, bro, you can make that shit, like you put that music, if they took the music away and how they were talking about it, it, it would seem not as scary at all. Yeah. But I, I will think, say that's the one part of like, uh, of like just, Video editing is fun when we used to do sketches, and you're like, This this doesn't feel sad. You just add like the right music yeah. or something, you're like, Wow, this really sways opinions. <laughs> there's oh um, <clears throat> yo, there's a crazy TED talk on what? On called, what? On, it's called 4 a.m. On what? But, but the idea, <laughs> hold on, no, no, it, it's, it, on it's all in, <laughs> no, it's all involved in this. It's it's about like if you you can edit things to seem however you want oh. as long as you're good at editing mm-hmm. yeah this guy has a whole ted talk on how what, just about the time 4 a.m you heard it here first if your videos aren't doing well chris Cheney says you're trash <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he pulls all this random shit he's like pulling simpsons references he's pulling like like uh shit from poetry just about the time so it, but it that's a recommendation if you like just to go off what you're saying i don't know if i've ever talked about this but uh, i have a friend who's uh, in the industry and another friend who's it's a friend of a friend of a friend right we're all sitting there drinking smoking one night it's late night summer shit and uh, one of the dudes is start talking. He lives in L.A. And he starts talking about how he goes, oh, yeah, one of my uh, friends, like famous person's rich ass son. We all just doing the same thing, smoking, drinking one night. And he goes, not nah, cancel it. Canceling someone's the easiest thing in the world. You make eight t- fake Twitter accounts and you just say the same thing. You repost it and whatever. Like you just know where to post oh, it. Oh, you do the Russian bot and, shit. Yeah. And everyone was kind of like, it's not a Russian bot. It's just a kid with multiple. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 But um, do we have to bleep Russian bot? I'm just, just curious. I, who, I mean, I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not God. The algorithm. Um, I'm sorry. That's weird. a Facebook thing. Oh, Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So he, the, they all kind of just like, you know, like friends and bros be like, hmm, no, sh- all right, shut up, Henry. Let's shut up. Yeah. He goes, watch. Uh, pick a guy. Pick anyone. I'll do it. Pick anyone. They go, Jimmy Kimmel. And he goes, all right, bet. They go to sleep. A week goes by, and they're all just drinking the next week, and they get a text from Henry. And he goes, links out to an article, and it's like Vice mm-hmm. and everything. And it was like the G- – was it Jimmy Kimmel or Fallon that did the blackface? That both, had a, both of them did. Both. I guess you're right. I guess – but not the one that did – um Carl Malone. I feel like everyone named Jim has done it once. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> all the Jims. All the Jims. But – a week later, they get a text being like, here's the article. And I remember this dude telling me, he's like, dude, it was literally just started with 10 tweets of all the same thing of fake women, fake this, being right, like, oh right, my right. God, I worked with him. I was a producer mm-hmm, on the show mm-hmm. and he did this. And he goes, a week later, he's apologizing on his fucking TV show. Wait, you know a guy. That's crazy. Who knows a guy? Okay, okay. okay. Who knows the guy's cousin? You talking about that guy or the other guy? (laughs) That was for Natalie. All the other guys. You talking? Okay. (laughs) So actually, I'm talking about Will Ferrell (laughs) and Mark Wahlberg, the other guys. Oh, nice. That's not even the right movie. (laughs) Oh, that's so funny. (laughs) Were you? I knew the second I saw you with that thing. Oh, dude, you. Oh. Oh my God. What happened? No, I just knew him in the. Nah, dude. Women fucking love it. She loving it. That's a fire drop. <laughs> I like that drop. <laughs> I like that drop. That was a fire drop. That back. was actually, if it was, was a guitar, a it would have been. Nah, like, if we could have 11 more of those fire drops. Yeah, yeah, we'll have, we'd be on something. Yeah. D, uh, he be hitting me up. He'd be like, yo, Kev, are you going to send me a screen record of drops I should have on the show? I'm like, yo, bro, I don't. He goes, my bro, yo, no, no, this is what he said to me. He goes, Dylan, my brain don't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm not, I'm not, Kevin, you say shit. You sound like such an old yo, uncle D, sometimes. D, now you have to hit Charles Hamilton to get some drops. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Wait, Max, all, wait, wait, mad nonsense wait, to me wait, 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 we have, have to do that. Have him on the show. Oh my God, we could probably get him on the show. We could definitely have Charles Hamilton on <clears> Doped Up. Probably get we him should have show. Charles Hamilton on Doped Up. By Bro, the way, for real though, that's gotta... the episode. We're not even doing us talking. I'm going straight to questions. <laughs> yeah. You're going to make us question. pay him $400. <laughs> that, that's worth it. Natalie, that's, that's Natalie, kind of worth it. Not, Natalie. That, no way. That's 100 each. I won't do that. We got expense. Fine, that. 125 sure. each. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 130. Oh, I was like, are you including me? Am I in this podcast? You want now? me to pay you again? Yeah. 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 He was including me, and, and then he learned. He uh, got it. Got it immediately yeah, yeah. flipped to him being like, that's a mistake. But yeah. Wow. DC, I, I like how you you don't understand paying per job. You go, I what? paid you once in your life. <laughs> you think I would ever pay you again? I only <laughs> say that. No, 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 no. Like, bro, oh, you know I'm the know. only person paying you to do anything right now. You ever talk to someone like that? You're just mm. like, come on, bro. bro. I don't think that's true. Not well. No, nah, it's probably true. Bro. I will say, if he does do this podcast, don't. He's he's never gonna watch it. He's not gonna watch this far. At least into this episode. 
Damn. If he does do this podcast, uh-huh. he is down bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what, man? I wouldn't even say that. It, podcasting is yeah, a weird thing now. Chris, thank you for being on this the show. Pod has way. more followers than my mixtape, bro. He did my mixtape. <laughs> like, that's all I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that's not a, that's not like a big feat, though. That, for him, I think everyone has more followers than your mixtape. <laughs> yeah, which and he. he I think I think Cold <laughs> Gee. I think you're missing the oh, point. Shit. He's on it. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> like, you're he's right. You're like, right. All right, you're right. You got like, me there. You used to be in the studio with Eminem, bro. <laughs> you got me. You got me. You fucking yeah. got me. Honestly, we get us some food for Coopers, and that'd be good, yo. Yeah. <laughs> he asked you for sushi, bro. bro. I told him <laughs> we went out to eat. I, t- I paid for the drinks and the meal, bro. By the way, <laughs> way like, by the way, I'm like, bro, by the way, I would have came back with gas station sushi. You never said which kind. Bro. Nah, yeah, what that, kind of sushi you bought him, bro? I don't know, bro. Did he do it? He did made you, you take him out. Fucking cuck? That motherfucker probably pay for food and Did you do it, you cuck? He probably, he has been in LA for too long because he basically made you take him out on a date. Nah, he just made hey, me do what he would do. Like, if you were, let's just say you were, you and Comic were going to collab on something, you guys were successful, notable, you show up, you go out to eat, someone's going to pay for it. You're not going to split the yeah, bill Charles, like an idiot. You should make a song because your voice is, I feel like you could do a, a good Charles Hamilton. You should make a remix to Brooklyn Girls called Ain't Nothing Like Brooklyn Cracks. Yeah, I had a lot of fans going for me, real fans, but Ain't Nothing Like some Brooklyn Crack. <laughs> Wait, Damn, he's dude, in yeah, that was good, yo. <laughs> Honestly, yo, I, I, if, if I. If I knew how to rap better and shit yeah, off the yeah, dome, the... I would have ran with it. But like, that was good. I gotta respect that. He went for that. I'm just saying, getting him, we gotta dig him up. Like, it's really you can't dig him it up. Sound, he's dead. I know it sounds like a, one of those things where we gotta go find this. He's really what XXL cover was he? What year was he? He was 2008 to like the la- one of the last of the good 2008? ones. 2008. We're talking about the best of the, the blog way, era. By J. the way, Cole, that, like, that, you, is the, that is the that is 2008. Now, yeah. can you bring yeah, that up? So was, that's old. It's a crazy bro. cover, dude. I want to see that cover. Fucking Who's on Asher there? Roth. You remember Asher Roth? Well, I, that I, whole blog era, yeah. Asher Roth was interesting. Same me. thing. He only had that one I like song. That, that was the first one they had, like, mad motherfuckers, right? There wasn't there, like, yeah. eight of them? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's when and then they, they started uh, doing nine for nine, 2010. I was 2010. singing I Love College in middle school, and that shit's so funny. I love college. I love college. Good song, song, but he has dope free his bars though. He nah, actually nah, does. Nah. It's hard to sell him, I guess. But he you know who we were listening to the other day? Chris Brown. Who were we looking for? Sorry. Uh, twenty uh, two thousand eight XS XXL. Who's on it? Cover. Just, um, <laughs> it's a it's a slew of people. Yeah, yeah. it's literally a cover. Uh, yeah, it's gonna it pop up. It's like Everyone new rappers or what is it called? Now, yeah, this like, is a yep, black publication, down. in case you're wondering if you can't find it. Double XL two thousand eight. Yeah, right there. Oh, there we go. Yes, you're on it now. I see who's on. No, no, no. Um, the one that one down below, maybe. Drake was on that. That's a one, one to the right, one, one, maybe one right. Sorry, uh, if you X yeah. that out, you'll see it. Okay, Hobson's on it too, I think. It's MGK. You, you can make it bigger. Is no. that Iggy too? That's not 2008, guys. Oh, that's Mac. That's 2008 was coming up. Ice Cube. 2012. No, it was. I literally just seen it. That's 2012. Damn, oh, Red Cafe. Danny Brown is on that. X out of this nut. How is Pusha T in Red Cafe on the same? Sh- Let's scroll gently. Yes, right there, right there. Yep. Your, your What's right there? Yeah. Yes, that right there. <clears throat> Charles Hamilton, Wale, Make Currency, it big, the Damn, Hot Spitter, Wale, Asher Roth. Holy shit! I think B.O.B. may have been on. No, I could be wrong. Ace. You could zoom in slightly. Yeah. Man, th- I, you know what, man? Not, like these kind of um, these oh, kind of like uh, B.O.B. Bro, I love. I had a few years. Mickey Fax, Corey Guns. I'll be real with you. Not as far as the cover as I thought. Yeah, I don't. Uh, well, you know, here. No, oh, no, the, I mean, there's a lot of. No, here's the thing. This is what I was about that. to say. Those are like such a weird time capsule, right? Because yeah. at that time, that's when they're the hottest. So that's when we all knew them. That you know what I mean? But now to see like. Blue? Can I tell you? Who the fuck talk about blue? That, that, <laughs> remember blue though? Yeah, but Wait, DC, that's crazy. That yeah. cover right there is the definition of <clears throat> longevity medi- mediocrity. What? Mm, um, nah. everyone in there is still like working. But they're not like. Well, nah. that's what I'm saying though. There's scales. Though. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Can, can I just festival? say something like, to that? Because that's that's a good like. Wale is not point. But like, what I'm saying is Wale. the best thing about that is they do something like that. They put eight of these people, and then you get to see ten years later who took it like the furthest. Yeah, and that's what, what I'm they saying. Did. And it makes you appreciate the artists who like for sure. Been it does for a decade. Blue for sure. I don't know what he's doing. He was very talented. I don't know what he's doing. I hope he's doing all right. But Wale's been around for currency. You've been listening to currency for how long? Your brother been uh, listening to since Currency. 2008. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. He's still playing. Yo, he's Currency dope. the hot spitter, he's, though. He's dope, he's bro. Never plays. He's he dope. know what it is. Andretti, bro. Andrew, exactly. He, he, but no, my, no I always say this about Currency. Currency could have been hot and would have been even much more of a multimillionaire. I don't think he went to If he just would release a mixtape that didn't have 47 songs on it. Every what? three he's weeks. He's released um, projects Every that three, has three songs. They're great songs, but they're just like, sometimes you're like, dude, this is just... 
you got you got to know when to cut the fat, bro. But okay, I may maybe you have a point, but think about the out as a creative stand. We all create all right. shit, right? All right. But the thing about the output though. To put out a mixtape like that every month, every week, bro, that's crazy. That's our new transition music. That is the music of this bit has gone on for too long. Charles Hamilton, <laughs> whatever you are, we hope disgusting. you come out from the depths and pay and let DC pay you $400 Wait. more to be on the podcast. No? Nope. Hold on, I got a good idea. It's going to be a good idea. Natalie, can you pull up 2008 New Faces? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that's. <laughs> and can we look at who is the new faces in 2008 and see who's doing what now? That's pretty funny too. It's oh, that's wild. That's yo. Not that right, I'm, yeah, I'm not on new faces, funny. but right, honestly, that is pretty funny. I do kind of want to. The same concept. Right, wait, it's the same nice. comedy new faces. Chris Cheney yeah. just had a great idea. <laughs> Literally the same concept. Um, what, by the way, you know, guess drop. You, Thanks, guys, <laughs> for a good idea. You know, you know what's crazy about that? Um, uh, you know what's crazy about the 2008? Uh, New faces is Charles Hamilton's also on that one. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yo, I feel like you are than a Charles Hamilton, DC. So what? What? Like I'm older <laughs> than him? Yeah. Charles Hamilton is almost forty, dude. Really? I just said. I, I mean, bro, eight, I was in eighth grade. Two thousand eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're Ten right. years ago, I was eighteen. Montreal's. Who is it? Let's um, see. Brandon Walsh, Two Ray, shout out Two Ray. Ian, I don't know. Steven Sean Smith, Patton, hell yeah. Shout out Sean Patton. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go. Sean Patton, Chuck Walt um Watkins, uh Sean Patton, shout out Sean Patton. Jamie Kilstein. Jamie Kilstein's on Nate there. Bergazzi. Eric Griffin's on there. Shout out Eric Griffin. Wow, it's crazy. Eric Griffin's on there. Chelsea Peretti. Uh Elijah uh Schlossinger. Yeah, wow. Peretti. Jeff Dye. That Jeff Dye's funny. There's a uh, few Chelsea Peretti's funny. There's a few millionaires on that month. Yeah, but there's also, there's also some people you've never heard of, bro. You know what I mean? Nate Bargatze, though. All yeah, of Nate those people are doing better than us. All the, no, no, no. I'll tell you <laughs> Every this single one. No, no, no. <laughs> but that's not, that's, not, you're, you're, that's not the fucking point. You you don't even know how to selling do, the show do up, does Selling a show up. Selling a show up. You're show not getting up. it. It's the rappers, 2008 XXL versus the freshman class. I, it's not versus us. Yeah, but that's just you taking it off you. <laughs> Literally, if you want to see, if you're like, oh, I wonder what they're doing now. They're I hate him. I hate selling him so shows much. out. <laughs> I hate them so much. Nah, uh -oh, not all of them. Who Who is not selling a show out on that yeah, list? Like, so infuriating. A lot. 50-50. Okay. Who, I mean, look, I don't know Kenny Johnson, but that, that, that don't start, mean he's not doing well. I'm not just going to start assuming who isn't in doing well in public because they are. Like, Kevin fucking Brennan's the I see Kevin Brennan on this list. Eric Kevin Griffin. Brennan it has a beef with literally everyone. In, has a beef with Robbie Goodwin and Mike Figs. Like, I don't. Like, oh, I don't, yeah, what, the, what are wait, we talking about? What is that? What, that out there. Nat, what's that below? It's kind of cut off. Masters of Montreal 2008. Is that what it says on the left? That's yeah. the yeah. one they made after. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Jeff Dye, see All right, around. ready? Ready? Have you guys watched the Velma series? No. <laughs> She's black now. Indian. Well, Indian. Indian. Now you can tell. Well, because they because they made that. sure to animate arm hair on her. Oh shit! Does it have <laughs> Does it have gravity <laughs> physics? Like it actually waves? <laughs> <laughs> I will say this: awful show, great animation. I <laughs> okay. I felt bad because you know there's some animators that that was like their big break, and you got to animate a bad show. That sucks. Still get, I don't think they care. Uh, that's not true. I'm sure he goes back and forth. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like you want your projects that to you work good. on to be, yeah. But at the same time, true. you probably working on that knowing this is not a hit. Like I'm, if you're looking, if you're hearing this, all that shit, it's like, oh, this yeah. Is but soft. you're saying they don't care. No, I'm saying that they, the whoever animated it, got paid to animate it, and that that's animated. true. <laughs> they got paid to animate it. They got paid to animate it. That is, it. that is kind of true. I mean, like I've definitely worked on projects where I'm like, damn, I don't want to do this shit at yeah, all. Yeah. By I mean, the way, like, if I have zero passion for the project, I can't do it. Yeah. The, the worst is not gonna be as. Good. How passionate well, would you be for two hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, that's a little different. Honestly, bro, whatever project you want. <laughs> yeah. But, how, but, how black is Velma? I don't give a fuck, dude. But wait, hold on. But Shaggy bring me smoke up. weed, even better. So wait, bring me up to speech. She's a lesbian now, because I, I never watched the show. I don't know. I, nah, just, bro, I heard she was a lesbian, and now she's Indian. It's one of the hardest watches. So I, I don't, if no one watched it, it's hard to go through it. But in the first two minutes, there's like a, a, all the girls naked in the bathroom. I actually put it in the links. Can you play the bathroom scene, That's please? Bro, Yo, so Dylan, this know, bathroom scene is uh, boner inducing. You tell me, you tell me if I'm fucked up for this or like if I'm wrong about for this. One I turned cartoon, never. I turned off the cartoon, and I was like, it's just corny to me, right? And okay. then I was like, I. Right. They are making a lot of dude jokes. That is some like jokes about men. Animated butt. Play like, it. The, the, huh? This is fire. And I was wondering, like, am I being a bitch? Ass, you just talk while you play. It's plays. just about. It's just about I know I saw. Oh, no, 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 I was telling her. Oh my god, I have. Keep talking. It's like, uh, am I being a bitch for like 
not liking this because they're talking about dudes right now. I'm like, this is not, this is like, you're talking about me. Nah, you know what, man? Shit like this. I mean, this is, this part might. This is the best part. Kind of be for us, but she's a lesbian, right? So they no, kind of. At one point, dude, they turn to the camera and they go, anyone who smokes weed and watches cartoons are are idiots. And like, it's like, who is this show made? That's a, by the way, that's a real like part of this show. In well, the first episode. Is that, is that like maybe a, a break the fourth wall joke? Yeah, but it is. It must it's, be. It's, it, yes, but you're breaking the fourth wall on the first episode. Like, but who are you making fun of to who? Like, if me and you are, if we're smoking weed watching this and they're saying you're, I don't know how to explain it, bro. It's weird. I've never seen a show less aware than this show. See, look, you see leg hair. I mean, not to oversimplify a thorny issue, but everyone loves it when white people play Jesus or a professional boxer. Ah, right, bro, I'm with you. Nah, nah, no, no, get this shit off. What yeah, the fuck? Nah, 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 you gotta listen to this bullshit, bro. A bitch, Velma? What the hell? You almost killed me. Guess I hey, can you go back? <laughs> wait, wait, can you go back? Can you go back? Can you go back? Go back to five seconds. I mean, that is a no, no, small no, amount of bubbles. It's <laughs> not wait, a you, lot of Natalie, sensory. if you don't know where to pause. No, 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 no. What? God dang, damn, I said five seconds. No, Natalie got this all bookmarked already. <laughs> she, go back. Literally. She got this later on the spank uh, bag. Forward. When, wait, when she gets up and you almost see some vagine. And how do you feel about race-blind casting, Daphne? Well, as an Asian woman. Oh, it's I, Daphne. Um, that's Daphne? I mean, yes. She called her Daphne. Oh, wow. They really fucking the shit up. So they're right, not wait, even. Natalie, she's about to get up. I need you to pause when she stands up, please. Uh, I'm losing yes. it. I wasn't expecting such an enlightened answer from such. A bitch, Velma? Whoa. Wait. <laughs> no, she got it. She got it. Look, she's going frame by frame. We got to go one more frame back, Natalie. Most replayed. You know how YouTube tells you most <laughs> replayed moments? Cool. Is that one? One frame back. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank Hell you, yeah, Natalie. Dude. That took way too long. <sighs> Thank you. You proud of yourself? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> I, was there no, a poll where you gonna say something that? about that? Just to was... see some Vichy guy. He was editing the clip with that in it all fucking night and day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go into plugs. This guy says I I derail the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Dope Dub Podcast. If you want to go support Dope Dub Podcast, go support our sponsor, Zia Farms. Zia Farms does everything for us around here, sponsors everything that we do. So guys, go support them. That's zef-hemp.com. Go to zef-hemp.com and go support Zia Farms and use the code doped hyphen up that's d-o-p-e-d hyphen u-p and you'll get like i think it's like 50 or 80 percent off it's a ridiculous fucking discount so guys go support see your farms and doped up and get high with all of us let's get back to the show let's play some plug music oh there it is chris shannon you have anything to plug yes i do uh sorry this is going to take an explanation because you were asking me and we said we would save it for the podcast so i'm going to plug you pause hey, and tell you yo, yo, what i'm plugging yo <laughs> Yo, you lucky my brother wasn't here for this episode <laughs> sitting outside. Last week he was here. Yo, you, and last he week he was here, ass, and he would have been like, yo, I got to smack the shit out of a man. So. Damn, you guys are so uptown. What the fuck, man? <laughs> you don't know what time it is? <laughs> no, I do, because I've been uptown. That's what I'm saying. Uh, no, so this year is the 25th anniversary of the episode of the original Pokemon animated series where Ash explains how he got his hat, that iconic oh, wow. hat. I didn't even know that had a backstory. It had, yeah, it's the, actually, and it's the 25th episode of the series too. So what I'm doing as a like a homage to the hat as like an object is I'm recreating the contest that he did to win it. Mm -hmm. So basically, I set up a PO box. I made a hundred of the hat because that's how many he said that was made. And he uh, has these postcards that he mailed in. And basically, I I made the postcards and I got a bunch of shit going on with it. Um, so yeah, basically, I just want people to mail in to win this hat. Chris, every time you bring and give away these, you give away like three hundred. How much have you lost on those postcards alone? Buddy? I mean, dope. look, the postcard ain't what really is money. What's money That's, is like yo, I designed a much, custom box per card. How much are these? The I mean, these are nothing, bro. I got like five hundred for like one twenty or some shit. Like I, I got a printer guy that you, I'm like you give super away cool. Give away hundred every time I'm with you. How much yeah. money do you write off for this? I don't know what I'm going to do as far as taxes yet. I don't know how this shit works, but I am in the oh, whole crazy. By the way, I'm, so, I'm are hemorrhaging you, money. You're, are you Christian? Catholic, I was raised, yeah. That's why you have this bad financial thing. <laughs> <laughs> and Irish, yeah. Hey, the, a Jewish joke. <laughs> dude, the, the Jew in me is losing it. Another Jew. Bro. So, Jew dude, it, it's like the cost of the hat 
which I got to down to seven dollars a hat, but then I had to Whoa. ship them. Yeah, but I made a hundred. You know what I mean? And then I designed a box that all this shit's gonna go with. I made a certificate of authenticity. I made like a congrats insert. I'm putting another one of these in there. I if made this a was custom. a Dominican venture, you would have just bought a van and sold them in Times Square. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I Dominican made, joke. I made I a lot like more they would money. Sell like. And also, how much does that cost you to just make, bro? A hundred of them? I, know it's I got them down to seven and a hat. Then plus shipping was like a stack. Um, but oh, I mean, like insane. the box itself is crazy, and there's this also okay. there's right. also like MLQs on this that yeah. like I, I'd have to buy two hundred of the box because that's what I could get. When do and you make money? <laughs> it's not about making money, Dylan. <clears throat> and here, actually, this is actually the legitimate thing that I think that you and I can connect on. <laughs> okay. It's no, not about money. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. I'm listening. <laughs> no, it's okay. Because you I also open up a comedy. No, because no, Dylan. I know you get shit on for your social media and a lot of the stuff that you try and shit. And it, you, you Who, have like, me. Yes, you. You couldn't be. No, but you put a lot of blind effort into stuff, which I really appreciate. But this goes to all creatives in the room. That, yeah. sounded like, that felt like a backhanded compliment, but I liked it. Um, blind well, effort, me when I wear the circle with glasses. I mean, Natalie. it's a good, accurate compliment. You know what it is, dude. Oh, no, I'll, I'll go in 100%, 110% everything. Dude, but this is the thing. is If you do something with purpose authentically, then the fruits of your labor will blossom later. And that's exactly what this is. Mm -hmm. I respect that. You know I respect that. You know it's, I respect that, Christian. It's an A to Z project for me that I'm going to put in my portfolio that mm -hmm. I'm paying for. But everyone's going to look at this shit and go, oh, he did like literally everything, bro. Like mm -hmm. I, I sourced. I went to like China. I went to Bangladesh for shit. I made these. What? I'm going to do a wee paste thing. A to Z like, is also the name of the woman that wrote the Velma show. <laughs> <laughs> but I got the I website. I, I, I'm host like a, a to Z. Everything is me. So when everyone looks at this shit, they're going to go like, oh, he no, literally can change. do all this yeah. shit. Oh, for sure. I, and you know I said the same thing. Yeah, the, absolutely. The marketing genius behind it. If you yeah. look at it, it's every little piece of it is perfect. That's it, what I was gonna ask. I was about so to wait, ask. So wait, let's go. We, we can talk more about it afterwards. Yeah, let's do the plugs. everyone else do their plugs. Also, DC, I got a um, yeah, I got a monthly plugs. at the last last Tuesday every month. I got a oh, monthly yeah, comedy, comedy shop. shop. Yep, guys, uh, DC. Um, follow me online <laughs> at DC Williams Comedy. Um, doing a show on the twenty second. I'm pretty sure it's at Broadway, but if it's not, it doesn't matter because by the time this comes out, I would have already done that um please keep liking subscribing sharing and following <coughs> dope the podcast please thank you kevin sanchez yo we're the only podcast that does drops over the plug music <laughs> and i'll never fucking stop at me i don't go <laughs> italian food i had last night it was delicious wild kevin sanchez on instagram wild kev sanchez on twitter wild kevin sanchez on youtube and um I got shows coming up. Look at look at the Instagram. We got big things coming. Guys, uh, I want to officially announce the 10 minutes too long tour is officially returning. Guys, we're going on the road. Go to my uh, my web my website, dylancomedy.com. All my dates are on there. Next Tuesday, I got two shows, a seven and an eight. And then we're doing Emma's Theater with Derek Gaines, Dave Temple. That's Philly, Emma's Theater, January 28th. That's for J. Cole's birthday. Why not? And then also we're going to be at Vulcan Gas, probably do some other shit in Austin with an amazing, hilarious, funny female. And also she's gorgeous. So if you want to come perv on her, she does OnlyFans. She'll love it. Um, Chicago, March 16th through the 19th. And then Doped Up Boys are in Connecticut, April 6th or 9th. It's like a Sunday. Oh, so April 6th is my that. birthday. Nice. Um, hey. My birthday show. Thank April, you. Uh, really? Yeah, that's very cute. <laughs> I, I thought that the song was, <laughs> yeah, is this an unlimited loop? Are you just are you blown away by a loop? No, it's because uh, that literally went for the whole time that we yeah. were talking up until. So I didn't know if it was I like manually before. loop it every time. Oh, okay, got you, got you. <sighs> Yo, Nat, Natalie, you can great A, baby. Hey. That's why I was like, Natalie, that's hey. that great Natalie A. Natalie just hey. giving away the secrets. By the way, Natalie, did she go out of town? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Natalie, tell me to find you. Put the, put the music back on for yourself. Uh, Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram, D-E-C-I-C-C-O. Go to the Gas Digital exclusive YouTube channel and watch Gas Digital now with me and Bly Mike. Also, I didn't get to say it, guys. Go follow the fucking Patreon. Go sub to the Patreon. But weed, shrooms, and cocaine tier. Cocaine's $50 a month. Because if you can afford cocaine, you can afford $50 a month to pay for us. Uh, guys, go to the Patreon. Every fucking week, we're putting out bonus content. Watching a watch along right after this podcast. Go straight to the fucking Patreon. And you can go watch it right there. We're going to watch uh, an amazing show with Chris. We're going to go do the questions right now. Hell and yeah. then uh, we're going to do the bonus. We also have the um, full episode of Fuck It Round 2 with me and Napoleon Emil getting uploaded there. Also, a new show with me and Kevin. Coming soon. Coming up, coming up. All right, <laughs> All right got the music. All right, what's the truth behind Let's, these postcards? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what you mean? I gotta get okay. into the questions. Okay. I gotta get into the questions. <laughs>
I am speaking to fuck around too. This is the munchies moment. Chris, I told you about the podcast. This yep. is a podcast where we ask you about um, drugs and your experiences with them. Oh yeah, and just be honest. Yeah, sure. Just one hundred percent. But we're gonna start easy. This is the munchies moment presented yeah. by fuck around too. You smoke weed? Hell yeah. So you know you know about the munchies. Oh, big time. Okay, so just I'm gonna ask you these quickly, and you just yeah. I, I, I took a hit of that pen and already won them. I'm uh, fucking right so now. I'm zooted. A little zooted. I'm, I'm <laughs> so <laughs> zooted, dude. <laughs> this is from California. This, I'm fucking blitzed right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. If dude. you paid us some money, we'll promote it. <laughs> I think that will. By the way, I think we could pull that. Um, <laughs> what a high way to ask for a sponsor. I, I I, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll and it's a dope, dope way. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you quick ones. Here we go. We need music. Wait. You know what? Wait. Should I just do? Oh wait. You gotta put it a little lower though. Right. You ready? Let me control the vibe. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Now, Sour tell. candy or chocolate? Sour. Grilled cheese or cheese quesadilla? Cheese quesadilla. High C fruit punch or Kool Aid? Kool Aid. Chicken sandwich or burger? Ch- Ooh, that's a feel. That's a mood. But I'll say chicken. Chicken sandwich? Yeah. Chicken <laughs> wings or chicken sandwich? Chicken wings. Ooh, best fast food restaurant. Uh, McDonald's, man. You gotta go with the king. Best item at McDonald's? McChicken. <sighs> that's a that's a good fucking answer. Solid answer. Best food from your childhood you still eat now? Uh, steak. When you got the munchies? Okay. What? <laughs> that was I, I, I expected like Dunkaroos. Something behind these. Oh, you meant like cars. a high. <laughs> something like, you meant like a steak. high snack. <laughs> yeah. I, I immediately went steak, but I, high snack I guess would be like yeah, Haribo so, sour gummies. Okay, Haribo sour gummies. Okay. <laughs> high snack, flaming young. <laughs> I mean, I would get smoked and then <laughs> go <laughs> no, eat some I filet, bro. I mean, <laughs> what kind of? We uh, you know your childhood. Uh, you walk into a bodega, you have five seconds to order. What do you say? Uh, that was a fire drop. Uh, Jamaican beef patty and flaming hot Cheetos. Oh. Oh, Nothing to drink? Beef patty. That Ooh, is. I like that. Repeat the order, please. That's Yo, say that one more time. Jamaican game. beef patty and flaming hot Cheetos. That's fire, bro. Thank you, sir. No liquids. Yo, but your asshole going to be hurting. Yes, later, it will. Bro. And they got water at the sink at my okay. house, bro. All right. All right. <laughs> respect, <laughs> respect. You see you what, what I mean? he does? He respect. saves on the, on, the, on the soft drinks and then gets steak later. Oh. That's how you do that. That's yeah, right, that's Chris Cheney. Tell him. That's that's tell him what time it is, Chris Cheney. Cheney. He's thinking out here, dog. Cheney. Filet me on yeah. at night. I don't drink <laughs> soda. <laughs> <laughs> Filet me on you know, at <laughs> night. I don't drink <laughs> soda. No, what we say, Kev? Filet me on <laughs> at night. We don't drink soda. Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah, bad, bro. You gotta do it for the drop. Bro. Oh, uh, we're, yeah, we're that's gonna keep that. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> 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 All right, that's a good drop. I like, great fucking yeah, keep winning me back on yo, that. Yo, that right. should be a that's that should be in your Tinder profile. <laughs> that should be on your Hinge profile. That should be in your motherfucking uh, Instagram. I am LinkedIn on your LinkedIn. I don't drink. Mm. <laughs> when I when you guys give me the clip from this, I'm gonna pin yeah, it. For the <laughs> all that night, I, I don't, don't even drink. drink so uh, we, don't, we, don't have a, we should have left it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you I was, I'm, so not perfect, doing, I'm not doing. I'm not doing it for clips. I'm doing it. Bro, for you can hit that button. People are like, "What the fuck is that <laughs> drop?" Bro, <laughs> <laughs> me, y'all get night. All right, no let's drink. get into some of the the easy questions. Yeah, easy. let's do it. Drug of choice. Wait, devil's drug of choice. Oh, you know what? I'm. Is alcohol? We count alcohol. Yes, yes. Alcohol is yes. a drug. That's, so it, it, this one could be vice versa. Right. So drug of choice tends to be people. We, it should be vice we, of choice. No, but I like devil's drug of choice. It's like vice of choice. Short. So here, this is what I'll do. I'll stick with my first one. Weed as my drug of choice, and then my demon choice is alcohol. alcohol. Okay. So what does that yeah. mean? I mean, I mean, man. You go demon time. It's not demon time, but I mean, like everything I'd be doing. Unnecessary. Questionable. I'd yeah, I'd be like, like, you're like, I didn't need to do that. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. Well, it's tough to look in the mirror the next day. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm so hungover. I'm like, dude, I can't even look. <laughs> my eyes, you the black lights, out? it hurts. Nah, not nah, brown I, out though. I'd be browning. So brown. What I, is I don't, that? What's bro? that? You're that in sounds and out. Disgusting. No, brown out is. I mean, it's just a lighter version of black. So like, you may remember parts of the night. Brown but some out. You're like. like Man, I, when did I do that? Yo, it's not no, getting drunk and shit in your drawers, right? Brown no, is what, no, 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 what, no, no, what, no. what white people call when they season their food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, I'm browning I, out. Yeah, I, 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 I got so drunk last night. My chicken came out impeccable. Delicious. That's what white that people call it when too impeccable. many ethnics move Wait, in no, the I, neighborhood. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, so I, I only out. think I blocked out once, but I think it was really a, a brown out. Do you, have, do you have like a story when you were like, someone told you, like, what's a, what's a, bad, uh, what's a bad drinking story? A bad drinking story? I mean, God damn. Um, even last New Year's, bro, I think I'm still 26, and I, I forget I'm 33. Bro, that happened, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's not like Kevin. <laughs> Yo. That's not like Kevin. Last, no, like, no, the most bro. recent one. The most recent one. Yeah. So, uh, we, um. It's like three weeks ago. I, yeah, I never, <laughs> I never, 
It's not even like a bad story. I didn't do nothing crazy, but I am 33 and I was drinking like I was 25. You know I what I mean? What you're saying? Okay. So it's like, what'd you do? You know what it was? Are I you went drinking to less. He's wearing a Budweiser hoodie, bro. You only <laughs> get that. that you only get that when you redeem a thousand boxes. <laughs> Do you understand the amount of fucking labels? He, you look at this the fucking Pokemon cereal cereal box. box. This fucking crazy dude's ripping up yeah, boxes, he sending in tabs for a hoodie. He might have gotten that when he was 26, he and he's trying to reminisce. When did you get it? Uh, so actually, I the brand I was working for was working on this project probably around then. I think I was like, yeah, like 20, 2014. 2014. Uh, 15? I forget what collection this was, but yeah. And how old were you then? Like 20 something. What I told you, dog. Yeah. <laughs> what, what I told, told you, dog. dog. <laughs> this dude's just trying to reminisce in the good old days, bro. That's all he's trying to do. So th this uh, New Year's, yeah. you're drinking at you Budweiser dates. Uh, you yeah. doing shots of well, beer. Well, no, here's what it was. So we got tickets to Pretty Ricky or whatever. Okay. It was <laughs> It was me and my girl. No, no, it's a bar. Are you it's a bar South in Lower East Side. Oh. It's a bar in Lower East Side. No, I thought no. that was a dude. I thought that was a dude. No, no, no. Oh my god, hey, bro. You know, dude, I was making that joke all night, and I don't know why I didn't preface this with the yeah. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you went to go see Pretty Ricky, bro? With Dude. Who? Yeah, I wanted to see On the Hotline. Yeah. <laughs> <Here's Eve. laughs> my white homie. No, there's a bar in Lower East Side called Pretty Ricky. Okay, okay. And it had like a ticketed thing, and my girl was like, hey, a bunch of my friends are going. Can we go? And I was like, absolutely. I can sacrifice a, you know, a, a New Year's or whatever for her friends. Mm -hmm. Fine, whatever. But dude, I went to the like, and this is like after like five cocktails in. I went to the bar. It was open bar because we bought the ticket, and the bartender saw my everything. She was like, "Oh, do you want a shot?" I was like, "I would absolutely love a shot." Dude, she just grabbed the bottle and started pouring the shit down my throat. Oh my god, bro! Yeah, dude, so she it was like, you out. "Were you being a thought or something?" Yeah, you were thought. No, you, you were twerking right, out there. She was like, you look like a I thot. did. Ah, uh, so yeah. I, uh, <laughs> damn, dude, I bro, rang in the new year. Nothing, ass, dude. <laughs> Why did I do that? That's the more emasculating. Because yeah. I've done that when I, I was broke. Like, I'm a girl. And it'd be a dude going like this. No, it was a girl, though. It was a girl. Yeah, I got it. A it was a girl. A dude? A dude, a dude, a dude shaking your head, like, your head yeah. like this. Oh. Like, oh. Enjoy it, Poppy. Enjoy it, Poppy. Bro. Damn. Hold I did add New Year's Eve. I know. Hey, you got to hold that L, my chest, dog. Let, let uh, a dude pour hey, shit hey. in your mouth. Wait, wait, Kevin, Kevin, did he do this? Nah, but yo, she held that shit for too long, bro. Yo, if y'all don't make oh, that into a, a fucking gift, <laughs> I a need clip. a gift of that now. <laughs> Please include that in the thumbnail. Yeah, that is hilarious, hilarious bro. bro. So I, I remember le telling all the people we were with that we were leaving, and then yeah. I woke up in bed, and I was just like, yo, I haven't done that in a minute. Wait, what? Yeah, we left, and then I just woke up. Wait, 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 what happened? Respond. I left the bar, Lower East Side, after one-ish. Okay. And then I just woke up. That proves that you're 33. Where'd you wake up? Because in my bed. In his bed. Oh. That proves that he's 33. Because at 26, he doesn't wake up in his bed. No, you don't. At 26, man. you're like, I'm in this other fucking borough right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, shit, am I in the Bronx? Is that the Bronx? The, no! The other time I had a, such a vicious blackout where I just woke up, it was in my roommate's bed but he wasn't in it and i don't know if it was my puke or his puke but it was definitely yeah. oh yeah. no and again i was just like you I don't and know. john need to hang out <laughs> you and john from the fucking stand should hang out y'all can throw up and piss on all the couches you want no but it was that was a rare and plus that was years ago but it was a rare car but that was the last time i was like oh demon time bro i apparently got that is demon time bro that's the devil right yeah there. So I wait, yes. To me, that's not that bad of a story though. Like you just went to bed. You uh, it is the most recent. That's all. It is I was the saying. most recent. But dude, this is what I was down and out for like a day and a half, bro. It's not it the same when you're this old. Not, How long do you think you have um, before you stop drinking? Oh, when when do you think? How dare you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is that? Uh, can you see you not that. drinking? Can you see yourself not drinking? No, nah, I think I'm probably always going to drink. I think what... We're going to well, see him next week with the same Budweiser sweatpants. <laughs> 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 He's going to be like, yo, bro. I'm going to complete the set, dog. It's less <laughs> about the drinking, more than I love completing challenges. <laughs> if this was a TV show, this, this feels like it'll be your everyday album. Bro, Chris, you're the type of person that watched Pepsi Where's My Jet. I was like, I get it. <laughs> I'm late, homie. No, I don't know why you got Mexican there. <laughs> but yo, This wasn't even a Budweiser event, dog. All those Budweiser drinkers just went and we did our own challenge, son. <laughs> Yo, wait. Yo, he just, yo, he's also, I'm not even drinking them. I'm just buying the boxes. <laughs> it's also, why didn't give away the beer to my I like friend. that we gave away. Uh, no, you know, I moved to, I'm Ooh, a White Claw yeah. guy now. You're a White Claw guy? Oh, yeah. For the, truly, truly. Okay. Actually, no, I'll even, I use figure? White Claw as a general seltzer statement, but yeah. I will specifically a good say seltzer. two robbers because they also sponsor my monthly show. You want to hear some okay. alcoholic shit? Shout I out did? to them. Yeah. Here's some, this, is some, this is some true alcoholic shit I did. Um, it was during the <laughs> pandemic, uh -huh. and everybody had Trulies and vodka, and I was like, I could use some soda in this vodka. I opened up the tr 
truly oh, about you, putting oh, it you in you double dipped, bro. I double dipped. <laughs> <And> bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what the new shit is, bro? What? And it's strictly f- girls are doing it right now, but it's the adult four loco, which is espresso martinis. I hate it. Oh, bro, that shit is crazy. I will never bro. order. You know, also why? That, also, shout time. out to John, who's a, bar- a bartender at the stand. Yeah, bro. I, I every time I see him, I go, "How are you feeling?" And there's like a look where he gets darkness under his eyes. Wait, is this the small Mexican dude? Nah, nah bro. Why nah. you disrespecting my Evo is- fans, <laughs> John? Son, John. Which one's John? By the way, guest drop. That was. <laughs> hey, you look no, he's Mexican. Not. No, he's not. <laughs> hey, you look um, Mexican <laughs> behind the bar. I never even seen a Mexican behind the bar, bro. There used what? to be. He was at least a. Uh, some sort they're of. They're the cook. They're, they're cooks. <laughs> you never seen a Mexican behind the bar because they're so short. Don't <laughs> 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 hey, talk about my Mexican Cringy brother. but funny. Like cringy. Yo, but he funny. is cringy but funny, yo. Cringy but funny. <laughs> <laughs> yo he's so he's cringe a lot, son. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely rap like him. <laughs> no. no. Dylan's low key a good rapper, but we're gonna hold that. I'll never. No, no, it will never come out to light. I'll never do it. Yeah. I'll do it for y'all after the show if you want, but I don't think y'all want that. Um, damn, son. Wait, with a uh, um. Which parent were you more like? Do you ever call? I'm sorry. Have mm. you ever called one of your parents when you were fucked up, high, drunk? Oh hell yeah, dude! Like like on some what? like emotional all shit. You were. Uh, he's the first guest to really say yes to By that. the way, I think they're all fucking lying. lying? I, I'm saying this right now. If you, you're a come fucking come liar, on, come down, Dylan. you're a fucking Yo, liar. Dylan, chill, bro. <laughs> chill, <laughs> chill, bro. You don't need to be like cursing <laughs> out. I guess they be lying. I know they be lying, bro. They be crying. They be crying, dog. And oh, I be shit. out here. Uh huh. Just try it. Oh. That's sad raps with Dylan. <laughs> I want to throw my postcard. I'm <laughs> <laughs> throwing. Bro, you have enough. I do. You're like do. fucking wait, Batman wait, with the battery. So you're the, like, ah, you're ah, the ah, first ah, guest. You're the first guest to yes. admit to saying Seriously. they actually call their parents high or drunk. Oh, yeah, big time. Why? Um. Lower <laughs> uh, the music a little bit now. Because I, I, I don't find a re- Like, oh. I'm not hiding nothing. Wait no 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 oh, no, 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 no no no! This you just you just like why? Because I why would, are you calling? Oh like re, like if I'm high, like what's the <clears> conversation <throat> about? Uh, it depends. I'm high and drunk, so it's probably whatever's in front of me. But uh, I remember one time. So usually what happens is if I have like a big idea, I'll call my mom and be like, "Yo, you gotta hold me to this." And it's usually when I'm drunk and or I'm high. You short sure take your mom? No. Well, does she? Does not really? Does not your mom do? You're short take. No, I'm, I'm usually more of like a mental bookmark. I'm like, yo, what remind, does your mom do? She's a hairdresser. She's a hairdresser. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. she hears a lot of shit like this all the time. <laughs> like, uh, people giving her ideas, and she just uh-huh. does that with her son. The sober version, though. The so Well, her, uh, her Well, no, like, what? The, yeah. so this is a prime example. Is that why your hair is always so crispy? I you do got I a great haircut. I, oh, thank oh, you. Yeah. I appreciate great haircut, that. Thank you. I've thank never you, seen you. you not with a crispy one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate you it. You and the January 6th boys. <laughs> Any hey. white dude with a <laughs> hair on. Shout out to the boys. Chris is laughing at everything. Shout out to the boys. Hey. You're wearing an outfit. <laughs> hey man, we was even without our polos, huh? dog. Where are you from? Massachusetts. Oh, okay. I say Boston because it's like right outside of Boston, but mm-hmm. you know people get Because like, New Yorkers man. don't know where Massachusetts is. We just play it. <laughs> nah, you know, not, you, they don't even Boston. know how to say it. Yo, you yeah. want to hear some wild <laughs> shit? When I went to Massachusetts for the first time, I was like, we're going to Boston. And I thought Boston was the state. All of it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. By the way. I, I thought, yeah. bro, Boston, you were the most up dude. Wait, 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 wait. I was, I always hated doing, did you guys have to do the thing where you have to do the states of and course. the cities, like, like <laughs> capitals? Oh, yeah. I was so bad at that, bro. It's like, I don't understand with my brain why I wouldn't link or I didn't care enough. It just, I didn't want to. And I'll never forget where I had the list of like all the things and I'm putting them there and I'm like, I go to the teacher, I go, hey, um, I think there's a, a, a problem. I'm fifth grade, and I go, fifth fucking grade. And I go, I got one left over. <laughs> what state was like, it? Bro, she goes, yeah, Philadelphia's not a state. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the, <laughs> and I was like, nah, but like, she's like, also, that would... You need a, a city there too, like just, <laughs> yeah. just now. Here's what, the thing, bro. Like Pittsburgh. I, I, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> no, just, if your state got fire cities, your state's no longer it. called whatever it was called previously. <laughs> see, we're it's spoiled, over though. for that. No, no, no. And if, you, if your state city. trash, if your state trash, yeah. then it remains. I don't know, Missouri. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no one cares about. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know what city of Missouri, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what? Stinks. Trash. St. Louis, but... I was going to say St. Louis, but I wasn't <laughs> sure I wasn't was sure who it was. I didn't want to be wrong, <laughs> Can we just quiz them now? Yeah. What's the capital of Idaho? 
Who, who knows that, dog? Wait, wait, wait. Cleveland? <laughs> wait. <laughs> Come Man, I'm great at this. I'm not a I know. I know who in Ohio is. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the answer, but I know it's not Cleveland. I know who in Ohio is. So who the hell is Cleveland? So who cares, Are you saying bro? the place or the TV show? Did LeBron play for them, dog? <laughs> Did LeBron? Yo, yeah. I only know you're right. I know Miami, oh, Cleveland, and LA. Yo, come on, bro. You're not a None major market capitals, city. You don't count. Shut yeah, the fuck up. None of them are coming. You don't count. Yo, California is LA to me, dog. I don't care, bro. Nobody. San Francisco. When she- LA to me, dog. <laughs> I don't care, bro. San Fran's trash. I don't even like you Yo. like that, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm smoking every episode from here on out. <laughs> Yo, bro, it took forever for me to get like this, dog. <laughs> But don't mistake any part of Uptown for another part of Where, Uptown yo, in front of them, though. Yo, don't do that I shit. Need, I need a clip. Natalie. Yo, I'm smacking shit out of all of y'all, B. I you think a- I care, bro? <laughs> yo, yo, stop saying I'm from the Bronx, dog. Yeah. I'm from Harlem. You're from Harlem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from you. East Harlem. East specifically. Specific. Does dog. that does that part of that lead up to the Bronx, though? Hey, yo, it does. There's a bridge, <laughs> but there's mad water, dog. Uh. And also, you high for looting bitches? <laughs> I'm going to let you know right now, you not from Manhattan. <laughs> you from Harlem. You from the Heights, bitch. From you Long not Island, from the probably. Upper West Side, ho. <laughs> Stop it. Your money not long like that. <laughs> Your money not long like that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. They're good, they're good. Oh, you man. You got him. You got him. You piggy punched him. Kev was like, I might as well get content out of this. <laughs> yeah, all that was for Kev. Bro. Yo, I literally need a side by side clip for Kevin's page of him early in the podcast, just like, mm-hmm. and then that. An hour later. <laughs> An hour later, literally. Yes. Literally, literally, one it. hour later. <laughs> you all right, buddy? Yeah. Yo, Wyoming is Wyoming, and don't talk about Dykeman. All right, don't. don't. You don't know, bro. Oh, my God. Listen, get your city up. I miss it, (laughs) y'all. Get your city up, up. right? Yeah, (laughs) that's your pity up. I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers crying about shit. (laughs) I'm tired of this shit. Yo, your city sucks, bro. That's why y'all only go to the coast, bro. Oh, my God. (laughs) Hell yeah, dude. I co-sign everything you said. Yeah. <laughs> I co-sign everything. Yeah, and so what? The rest of New York. <laughs> yo, so what? LA. Yo, every time I go on, I said this. Every time I go on a road trip, I come back to New York. I always love just to say, I'm like, yo, when you get out of New York, you just you forget. It's just khakis and uglies. Like, oh know, shit. It's, hey, That's yo, a and Dylan, not wrong. I agree. It's just yo, khakis hey, and let uglies. Let me tell you something. My hey. man Josh. Get on was, that app. Yeah. Yo, he, yo, get on time, that app. This is a Josh joke, but yo, you go to Tinder, you go to Hinge, you go to any dating app. Yo, Bumble, Bumble's the best outside of uh, outside of New York City because these girls are so used to being so ugly <laughs> and having to start conversations. They're the best outside of this outside of the coast. They, these ugly bitches know how to initiate conversation. <laughs> it's just what it is, yo. You got a chick with a dimple on her fucking <laughs> chin. She gonna different. hit you up first with some fire ass line, bro. But she's only from Dakota. <laughs> it's like you about to cry, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to cry. I'm, cause I, what, yo, I'm passionate, yo. dog. Yo, she got a butt chin and asking if you eat ass. That's crazy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> she got a butt chin and asking if you eat yeah. ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. We don't do that. I'm dead, bro. Yo, Honestly, though, every time you kiss a girl outside of New York, you're you're eating ass. Hundred percent, bro. Is their butt ugly? No. <laughs> Soink. Yo. No, thank you. I was wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's okay. I love a bad pun. All right. Let's let's What's the next question. Yeah, buddy, you alright? Yeah. All right. <laughs> what? I can't. I can't bring entertainment, bro. No, 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 I told you before the show, I'm depressed. I said it before the show. I said, yo, Kevin's depressed today. I'm sorry. You might have hit the dap and sorry. Yeah, bro. Yeah, apparently it helps. Oh, shit. This is doped up. Never Me. been dying. Oh. Uh, yo, at one point, I, I lost. I, I, at one point, this became Kevin's show. No, bro. The I'm not show. mad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a fucking saga with you, buddy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Woo. Favorite place to get high? My room. <laughs> Your, oh, I was about to say home or away games. Home. How about how about chi- how about in childhood, bro? Because like everybody at, like, at our age, yeah, we Bats. love to smoke at Bats. home, bro. Because we know better. Yes. Well, okay. How about this? Where was the fucking place where you smoked? Like, I should not be this high here. Oh, dude, uh, up the block from my crib. Uh, <laughs> um, 
So I'm in high school, so this is my parents' house. There was a uh, construction going on. They were building houses. I remember we used to just go into these houses that were like it was an active construction zone. Oh, I used to do the same thing in Florida. You'd find houses they were building, but they didn't sell yet. Yeah, ninety nine percent of the time, a bit the back empty, doors right? open. Yes, 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 it is. Uh, by yeah. the way, they used to have slider doors in that whole yep. back porch. Yes, they we would, sometimes we would go in the house. We'd be like, "Fuck that." And they would always move the shit we brought in there. They thought they probably thought it was homeless people. Oh yeah, bro. No, we confused now it's 13, these guys. thirteen old kids just drawing on the wall, smoking weed. Dude, I, I smoked in one house. I think I was every stage of the house. It was like well, it was a wire frame. It was just the foundation. It was like mm, they do a good job, right? Here. <laughs> yeah, I was Imagine. like, did I tell you about the time? I take the copper. <laughs> <laughs> I could have, like for real. Did I tell you about the time I was in? Ba- I was in the house I wasn't supposed to. I was in the backyard and had a pool, and me and all my friends are swimming in this pool. It's and just... across the lake, and like, because it's Florida, you know, everyone has a backyard. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So across the lake, there, uh, so we're in the pool having fun, and then they had like stairs. So we all, put, I put on my shoes, and we're about to skate these stairs. Okay. And bro, so I skate the stairs, and you can hear the, so it starts getting loud. Someone across the way is like, hey. Get the fuck out of there, you kids! And start screaming. And bro, so everyone starts to run. And dude, I run. My shoe comes off. And like, oh, maybe I didn't have my shoes on. And bro, I don't know how to explain it. I ate. I fell back. And like, you know when you hit your back? Like, I was like 13. Walking like I had back issues. Like an old man, bro. Mm-hmm. As I'm walking to this gate, this dude was just screaming across the way, bro. And I'm in all the pain in the world. My phone was in the water because, like, I like, fell. It popped out of my pocket, rolled into the pool. And I just go, well, fuck it. And my friends ditched me, bro. That's why I got abandonment issues. And I, I just go up to the front of the fucking uh, the, the house. And they're all just like, what happened? Mm-hmm. And, bro. I, That's when he started hanging out with black people. <laughs> <laughs> was dead ass. Was like, That's what I was like. I'm gonna be a rapper. I was. You know, I was gonna say. Dylan. He told that whole story without incriminating himself. He was like, I was in a house I wasn't supposed to be in. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's that called? Bro? <laughs> what's that called, bro? <laughs> that is called. I didn't say trespassing. <laughs> Breaking and entering. No <laughs> that is called Judaism. <laughs> uh, no, it was perfect. You know. <laughs> Listen, man. I was in a house I wasn't supposed to be in. Right. <laughs> That's what you do when you're young and you're smoking weed. You so wait, you're, not supposed you're to be smoking in. and you're smoking in a house you're not supposed to be in. Oh no! At one point we had we're breaking in because they actually like, installed the windows and shit. And I think they figured out we were. Do not say that. don't say breaking in and don't 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 now do not say the word entering. No, nah, statute of limitations, bro. Yeah, okay, bro. Yeah, yeah this was yeah, this is over seven, I think. Yeah. So I'm this I'm is way fine. over seven. Yeah, I'm You're in high school, dog. Yeah, we're looking at twenty now. Yeah. So it's cool. <laughs> Yo, bro, when that shit started hitting me, I'm like, oh, it's been coming on 10, 15 years I've been in high school. Fifteen yeah. years I've been in bro. high school. No, don't, we're not going to talk about how old Ooh. we are. So you're not in this house. <laughs> you're in this house. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, I just basically watched the shit get built from the inside. It's like how much we were smoking in there. And like at one point, like we... Like, is it a, oh, they renovated it. You know, <laughs> by the way, you know, those, you know those movies where like it shows like everything building up? It was literally, like, I was like, in the inside of the, the house. This motherfucker just sat there and like, yo, can you leave? He's like, statue limitation. <laughs> Yeah, but at one point we were like breaking in because they actually installed the windows and we, the locks and shit. So like at one yeah. point, yeah, we were now yeah. breaking literally in committing right. crimes. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know you were breaking in before. Before. <laughs> yes. Right? Okay. It's yes. White sure. people. Yeah. They were like, no, 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 no. Don't be breaking in. Yeah. There's no windows here, dog. I didn't break nothing space. to get in. <laughs> it's open space right now, V. All right, all right, all right. That is some very white people shit. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is not finished land. It's Come mine on, to bro. use for now. Yeah. Guys. Right now, technically, I can take this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I know you're going to have a, a slew of answers, but um, what's your favorite cartoon or TV show or movie to watch when you're high? Uh, dude, I just tap into the anime compilation YouTube and bro, I get ham with that. What mm. anime compilation? Yeah, so like you could have like when you've watched as much anime because I've been watching anime as long as I've been smoking weed, so okay. that we got years of whatever, right? I have a plethora of just like greatest hit moments from every anime I've ever watched. Mm. So you can just go like, all right, best fight compilation from like whatever, and you just. Lewis Liu, and one YouTube nerd already made a video for you. For sure. <clears throat> I do have a Star Wars shit. Yeah, so it's like the same. It's, I just fucking bong One Piece every fight he's ever been in. Uh, all I, Fire Force fights. Like, I'm fucking in. I want, when I was 15, <clears throat> I started smoking weed around that time. Yeah. And I was at this beautiful Dominican girl's house. Hell yeah, dude. And, go, I mean, gorgeous. Her mom was gorgeous. <sighs> she was leaving the DR and shit. And she was leaving me, her daughter, Two other girls and two other dudes there. Oh, I was like, this shit. is a different world. Hell yeah. Yo, and this girl, should, I wish y'all could see Natalie's face. This right girl, <laughs> this girl <laughs> turned back on, home. This girl Natalie's turned, eyebrow just touched the back of her neck. Damn. This girl, <laughs> yo, and this girl turned on. You? By the way, I was so high. I was so high. I, what cartoon is it where you can't see the parents' heads? 
Oh, um, a couple of them. Like no, t- Tom and Jerry, Peanuts, Powerpuff bro. Girls, Charlie Brown. No, nah, no. Nah. Okay, uh, there's a lot. More, more, more around. Uh, oh, damn, Charlie time. Brown. Uh, no, sorry, uh, Be- not Beavis and Butthead. Um, Dexter Laboratory. Yeah, Dexter. No, no, you can see Dexter. No, nah, but um, no, the, some of them you can. Oh, well, I honestly I don't know what her For mom's the sake face. Of the story, let's I, go I was so high to know what her mom's face looked like. Okay, like that's how high it was. Got it. Or remember she was wearing this beautiful blue dress. It looked like she was going on a private <laughs> jet, right? Yeah. So anyway, it was like a spontaneous t- trip to DR. Hell yeah, dude. Anyway, I'm there, I'm sitting, I'm chilling, and she throws on anime, and I'm like, I kind of, I got to start messing with these anime. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah, right? dude. I want these anime. She had like bitches. black lipstick on, and you're like, yo. Well, she kept, like, it was sexy. I was getting my dick, my dick Is this the first time you felt the spooky bitch? And, kind of. And uh, because this girl and was anime? obsessed with Asian culture, and then I was like, I can't do this. Because in mm. the anime thing, some, one of these dudes was wearing a choker. Yep. And yeah. And I was like, she'll make me wear a choker. Yep. This is this kind of girl. She Yo. had me on a leash. Wait, I love the school. foresight. Yeah, I was like, you thought about that? I did, By the I way, did. I'm going to edit a photo of you. Don't do that. To, like, <laughs> if you had okay. anime like choker, like that look with like the little like under the eye even uh, makeup. I want to see Bro, what you look Indy, like as an Indy, anime. You know what? I'll come, anime I'll come do it for the podcast. Would you? Yeah, I would. Okay. But uh, when I was in the army, there was this dude. I didn't like him. Right, because like he was wearing a choker. <laughs> okay, and I was like, "This is like I was mad, like, like testosterone up, ready to kill people." Right. So like I was looking at this man, I was like, "Why is he in the same lunch line as me? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why is he here?" Right. <laughs> so I said, "Yo, what's that on your neck?" <laughs> like, <laughs> and homie was like, "He said, oh, I got this when I was in Korea or some shit like that. Either yeah, Korea or some other place where we at. Where it's like kind of normal to have some other matter. place with effeminate men. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. I was, it don't even matter. Korea's popping. That's where all Asians are from to me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all of China is Korea. Uh, China, no, no, China's China. Oh, China's China. China's China. Okay, it's fire. China's definitely but like North Korea. Everybody else, Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Japan, Korea. <laughs> Cut out what he said. <laughs> Thailand, Korea. So anyway, so. so he said, I got married out there. This is my wedding ring. I almost. The neck was. Yeah, that was, that's what he told me. I don't know if it's true, but I wanted to smack this shit out of him. So I was like, I wanted And then he showed me a picture of his girl, and I was like, you got it. <laughs> she fire, bro. Oh, you were. Oh, you saw the girl. You're like, no, honestly, yeah. bro, I wear a choker for her, too. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't. <laughs> I oh, bro. Was bad who's bitch, that, uh, who's that new girl everyone's sipping for? The um, Adam's what, comic? Chick? Oh, no, Wednesday. Um, Jenna. She sounds like the Ortega. The, yeah, it sounds like I only know that because of Genie Ortega in the Papu song uh, what? What, "Crowded." What, what words are you saying? That's how I remember that chick's name. <laughs> are you just fucking mumbling? Nah, did you just I make don't know words? what you've been thinking did you just about. Say, me? Pata, you know, you know. I know that I, I banged up down. Pap- <laughs> Yo, I, I haven't heard someone mention Papu. Talking about like, wait, 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 wait. Yo, because everyone's talking about Wednesday and how yeah. she's they want to bang her even though she's like 15 or some shit. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. She's and like, like she's 20 no. in real life. Yeah, Don't but mind. then they're like, no, Jeannie Ortega, and I'm like, the bitch you wrote crowded. Isn't this? What are you talking about, <laughs> bro? That's the only way I remember I, the when shit. he said Ortega, Ortega, I got confused too because yeah. that she was a rapper, right? Or yes. R&B uh, vocalist. singer, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Jenna Ortega. Every time I see her on my timeline, I scroll past it so fast because I don't want to fall in love. I'm slowly becoming. You think she's a simp. that attractive? I'm slowly simping. Yo, bro, what is it with yeah. me that I'm like, look at her, I'm like, no, thank you. Yeah, yeah you like a <laughs> just no thank you, no thank you, like, like a boy with long hair. Uh, <laughs> oh shit, Charlotte. does she? Fire. No, she's man. not like that. She just looks really young to me. She's not even ugly. Oh or shit, I think I I'm getting to the it. age where I like weathered women. <laughs> Dude, you, like know women you know what's weathered. crazy? I'm getting to the age where now, like, the porn clips I watch are people my age. Yeah, I want I want some realistic. Like shit. I grew yeah. into the milf, and then I st- I'm, now I'm gonna like they're start gonna be younger than me soon. I'm gonna be watching young milfs. <laughs> nah, I want- you know what I mean? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like I'm aging in and out of my porn. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Like there are younger milfs though on porn though. It's it's it doesn't have the same effect, but it's definitely- you get what I'm saying. Yeah, though. yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Yeah, I just want. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, we're not gonna watch a uh, compilation on the on the Patreon. I think we should watch an episode of Pokemon. Oh yeah, let's do it. I think that would be more on the theme of kind of that's what you would say. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but I just could have made you up easier, guys. Thank you. Shout out to Cold G again for the song. Thank you, guys, bro. This, this is awesome. awesome. Thank you. Fucking That's amazing. awesome as hell, guys. Not please go subscribe to the Patreon. Thank you. Shout out Natty S one more time. Natty. Oh, wait. God damn it. Thank you, uh, Natalie. I don't know why he. Uh, uh, I don't know why he 
Ain't no, yo, do you hear him? He goes, ain't no Shannon, but you doing, girl. Yeah, he's trying to be uh, a like crack a backhanded go. compliment. Yeah, so I like that backhanded, though. but no, I respect it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank, thank you for taking Natalie, don't tell Shannon, but I pick you over Shannon. Aww. Hey, this is Clip Doped that. Up, the Sunday morning smoke show. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you for watching.